in many ways I'm a member of the public uh, and the activity of a whole series of different organizations Greenpeace for one which I think is in my you know, somebody of my generation the first time that really this started to become pushing in front of us and think about this and do you realize what the consequences were were actually the activities of organizations like like Greenpeace um, I think we're all um, influenced by other people's opinions, other people's action groups and so on, evidence which is put in front of us. Um, I, live in, I live in just down the road in London. Uh, the evidence of pollution is on my windowsill every day. We like to live with the window open, clean the windowsill today and you'll have to clean it again tomorrow. And you think, jeepers, I'm breathing that stuff. So just those simple manifestations of the pollution around us, I think. My first, in fact, now you talk about it, this reminded me that the first environmental organization I ever joined um, was a, a river protection um, system. I've been fishing since I was this age. And so there was an association about um, keeping our rivers clean, keeping our, our fish healthy and so on, which was around in the 1950s. And I joined that organization um, with my two shillings a year or whatever it costs, my 10p a year equivalent, um, for that simple reason that I saw here was a, an environmental change which was effect or a human activity which was impacting on my hobby. Uh, and therefore I could see that yes, we need to keep our rivers clean. So in a sense, being aware of those sort of impacts goes back a long way. Um, as far as climate change itself, I think I'm no different than probably most engineers and scientists that as the scientific evidence has come forward, you, you listen to it, you read it, you look at who's saying it, you look at the evidence base, you look at the peer reviews that go on and so on and you say, yes, you know, I'm prepared to accept that evidence base. I mean, there, you know, there have always been the deniers of climate change or the, you know, our, our activity being the cause of climate change. I think most, uh, maybe everybody in the engineering and scientific community, of course, today says, no, no look at the evidence, follow the evidence, and um, we can see the need for change.